Hello, everyone in YouTube land. We are lovers and back here as always. All right, uh, well, a topic that has been going on for for ages, pretty much. <laughs> um, it seems like it never will end, you know what I mean? Um, when it comes to Nintendo, uh, I know it's not third parties. I guess you can, I guess I'll probably mention third parties, third party developers in this video, but this is about um, power in the specs with the Switch. And, okay, the Switch and the Xbox One and PS4 are all the same. All right? They're all on the same level. Uh, yeah, I said it. The Switch, Xbox One, and PS4 are all on the same level when it comes to specs. Now, specs don't mean jack shit to me, all right? And it shouldn't mean anything to you either. Um, it's the games that matter to all of us. Um, now you're probably gonna say, no, they're not on the same level. Nintendo is always behind. No, you're wrong. Every time, every fucking time when a new game comes out, it doesn't matter what it is. It's usually, it's usually a big blockbuster type game, overrated blockbuster game that comes out and they always do IGN and every mainstream gaming media site always does those comparison, which is better. They, I mean, they always throw PC in there too. You know, they always compare which version is better of Call of Duty or whatever. I, never, I saw one on Resident Evil 7 also. Um, it's like, these games all look the fucking same, all right? <laughs> PC. You're, I'm probably going to have the PC people come after me for this. But whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know, like... All these fucking games are the same on every single system. All the versions are the fucking same. But when we're talking about fucking Nintendo, Xbox, and Sony, they're all the same. Alright? They're all on the same level. Even, hell, even the Wii U was. Obviously it didn't sell that well, so that's why I didn't get a lot of support. But it's generally the same fucking thing. Okay? Do they have differences? Yes. Slightly. I just hate the fact that the mainstream gaming media, or whatever, is trying to shove things down your throat and acting like when a new system is supposed to come out, it has to be this m massive fucking leap in graphics or whatever, all right? Is there going to be a leap in graphics when a new system comes out? Fuck, of course it will be. Duh, I mean, what do you, what do you think? But do you also think that we're in the 64 era? Or the Super Nintendo era, the 16-bit era, jumping to the fucking 64 era? No, we're not. We'll never be that way. A lot of people claim that VR will be that next leap in graphics or whatever, that next leap in something that we've never seen before. Until We're never, we're never going to get that leap. I don't know when that'll be or what will it be. Maybe it'll be like holograms. Maybe, when, maybe it will be not, not playing games on TV at all. Maybe it'll be like holograms where you're actually in the game literally in the game that won't be for fucking ages okay whatever for now it's on tv um do games look amazing yes they look amazing but games are not all about fucking power i know you gotta have power to have the third parties because they gotta whatever their vision and all that shit but you can work in with the fucking limits that they give you all right there's a lot of developers there that work, that have been working with Nintendo that try to pump all the fucking juice out of that system as much as they can. Hell, Shinin. Shinin? Is that how you pronounce her name? That made the Fast Racing League and Neo and... What was that other game they put on the Wii U? I forgot. It was like a shooter or some shit. Um, they're like an indie developer. They're, they're all about visuals, but they're also about the gameplay too. They pump out all the fucking power as much as you can get out of that fucking system. You know, and if the third parties don't want to work within that, well then, that's their loss. Um, and, it, and it also shows that they don't like Nintendo. We've known that right now. And I understand that a lot of people say, well, the sales have to show, and then they'll fucking support them. They'll come run it to them. No, they fucking won't, because third parties hate fucking Nintendo. That's a fact. Yeah, if you, if you can't work in with these limits that they give you, every system has their limits. It doesn't matter how powerful it is. If you can't work in with that, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, 
the, the, the Switch is a very powerful system. It is. I just hate the fact that people always say, or people have been saying for the past, like, what, couple weeks now, because the specs were obviously showing off or whatever. Does it like doesn't mean anything to me? I heard, I heard some podcasts. I'm not gonna name names or whatever, but people saying, you know, the you know the Switch is just you know just not competing against you know Xbox One and PS4. Nintendo's never competing against you know them. They're always competing against each other. It doesn't matter what it is. But right now, when the Switch comes out, and I'm like a fucking month, they will be. In terms of power, yes, they fucking will be. What is it running in that fucking thing? A Tegra something? 1080? I don't know what the fuck it is. On top of my fucking head. And it's like, whatever is in that system, yes, it is. All these systems are on the same playing field. It fucking is. I'm sorry. Um, you can scoff at that. You can laugh at that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But it's the fucking truth, okay? These systems are all on the same level right now. All right? They can do the same fucking thing. Yes, sales will have to prove that for the third parties to come support them, but don't give me that fucking spec shit, because that ain't going to happen anymore. You can't throw up that spec shit. Nintendo's not in the graphics, you know. They're back now. GameCube was the last powerful Nintendo system, all right? Above the original Xbox, I guess. But right now, it's it's here. It's, this is it. This is the test for the third parties. And obviously, sales have to prove that, but if it sells, if it's a moderate success, well, if it's a... If it's at least Xbox One sales, yes, you gotta support it. You have to put your fucking games on it, okay? This is the way it goes. If you don't, you fucking hate Nintendo, and I fucking hate you too. So, peace out. More random videos coming soon. You can post your comments on this fucking shit. I'm done talking about this crap. <laughs> but whatever. Peace out. More random videos coming soon. Later. Bye.